Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I have come back from the most magical, whimsical girls holiday. As you can see, I'm all tan and hopefully glowing. I've been back for a couple days now, maybe about two, three. And I'm honestly loving the glow from the Spanish tan. And I aim to prolong this tan for as long as possible. Luckily, it's only about a month and a half until my next holiday, which will be somewhere so exciting. It's literally my favourite place in the whole entire world. I'm thinking maybe should I keep it a secret until then. Hopefully you enjoyed my Menorca vlog. I will have uploaded it by the time this new vlog comes out. Yeah, it was just like the most magical girls trip to Menorca. Menorca is so beautiful, like what I've been saying to people is that the water is so clear and it's so blue. The weather was just amazing, the vibes were amazing. We went to this club in a cave. Sorry, like it was amazing. You could literally like be clubbing and then look over the cliff and you could see the water crashing against the, the edge of the cliff. It was just honestly unreal, like a once in a lifetime partying location two hour wait but it was worth it and now i'm back played all in the girls holiday now i'm back to work i'm all ready to go to the gym and i'm gonna go to the sauna as well i'm actually gonna go to the sauna i'm gonna bring my towel and everything so yeah back to work back to the gym but the self-care will continue because when i was on my girls trip we were drinking every single day the whole time i was there for the whole week so i'm not gonna be drinking for a while I want to be on my game with going to the gym. I've been walking every day since I've been back, which is great. So yeah, let's go to the gym. Hey guys, we literally have to do the quickest haul in the world because I need to leave for golf in about 10 minutes. So I went to Superdrug and I needed to pick up some bits because after my holiday, I'm really tan and I just need a new foundation. So I brought the True Match. It was my everyday foundation before I went on holiday. But yeah, the one I currently have is a bit too light for me. So I went for the next shade up. And this time I got a cool, cool toned color. I'm a neutral tone and the one I have is warm. And yeah, it's a bit too warm for me. So I went for the next shade up in a cool tone. And then I love my current lip liner, but I needed a new one. Um, just for when I'm feeling something a bit more brownish, not necessarily warm reddish. So I went for the Collection Cappuccino 2 lip liner. I'm pretty sure I've been inspired by Kyra May for this lip liner. Um, she's one of my favorite YouTubers. And I think this is the one she uses. So I accidentally am matching with her. So love that for me. And then, and then I ordered myself some wedges because I needed some not as going outy high wedges. Ones that I could, you know, wear to work. Ones are a bit more everyday, not so much poly pocket wedges as my friend lizzie would call my ibiza wedges that you would have seen in my last um polo vlog and also my menorca vlog i did wear that but yeah i'm literally hurrying this my hair looks crazy because i just washed it i need james for this to be honest okay let's get it out so i can show you quickly Ara dust bag <gasps> cute aren't they cute they're perfect they're perfect. They're a perfect summer wedge, not too high. Wonderful. I think I'll wear these to work tomorrow. But yeah, I wanted a pair of wedges that I could just chuck on for work because what am I going to wear? Black leather loafers or patent leather Mary Janes. Um, so yeah, perfect. I'm happy with that. Now I am going to go and rush and get ready for golf. Okay, quick review because I really do need to leave soon. But the lip liner that I bought and I just showed just now is way too light. I'm actually so upset about that, but there's no time to be upset. I need to leave and go to golf. So I've just um, gone for my trusty cold brew lip liner and NYX um, lip oil, the red one. But yeah, as you guys know, I've been on a journey to get back into golf because I haven't played in so long. So this is me getting back into golf, which is really great because I'm playing golf with two of my golf besties. Megan has just decided to come and join us, which is so great. And I think... All I needed to get back into golf was honestly just like a nice round of golf with my girls. So let's do that. Good morning besties. It is now Friday, Friday morning and I've booked myself to get a haircut. It's honestly so long overdue because my hair's getting to that point where 
no matter how I style it, even if it's freshly washed, like I washed this yesterday, and it just looks really dead. It's like straight, which is great. This is my natural hair, by the way. But there's no life to it. So I'm gonna get a haircut later on today and yeah, get some life back into it. I wanna get some face framing layers going like that and a little bit shorter because my hair does grow out really quickly. So I don't mind going a bit shorter with, with my hair. So yeah, that's my plan for today. And also I'm so excited because after work, I'm gonna go to Wingstop, finally. I've never been to Wingstop, but I absolutely love watching Wingstop mukbangs. The TikTok Wingstop mukbangs have, they've got to me. And now I really want to try Wingstop. So I'm gonna go off to work. I'm gonna go to Brent Cross and try Wingstop. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna film a mukbang for it as well. Whether that be on my YouTube or my TikTok, I'm not sure. But but follow me on there anyway. I wanna start posting mukbangs. Oh, and I need to go do some admin today, like pick up my linen trousers that I got tailored from the tailors and do some vintage admin, like going to the lockers. Also guys, I really want to film at the hairdressers, but I don't know, I feel really shy still about sometimes filming in public, depending on where it is. I don't mind filming when I'm out and about walking, but if I'm actually somewhere, like sitting somewhere, like the hairdressers, I don't know, I get a bit nervous. So I don't know, I'll bring my camera along, but so that I can intentionally film, but I hope I don't feel too nervous too. I'll, yeah, I'll see what I can do so I can show you the process of me getting my haircut. Hello, little Luna. Hello, good morning. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, look at that face. Okay, I got my hair cut. Probably can't tell because I'm wearing dark clothes. Honestly, I'm not sure if I like it. I mean, I, look, I do like it, but it wasn't styled. I think I need to just style it and then I will decide how I feel about it because right now it's not giving anything. It's not giving anything. Okay, I'm all ready for wing stop. I did something really different with my eye makeup you see it here let me know what you think i feel like i look like a bird but yeah tried something new but yeah i'm all ready for wing stop i'm so excited me and james i'm going with james we were just talking about how excited we are because firstly i've been meaning to go for bloody ages the girls were talking about it when i went to menorca and oh even before then i've been wanting to go for ages James is all excited, he saw the menu. But yeah, we're about to leave to go to Wingstop. I'm so excited. And I heard that the Wingstop Ranch is amazing. Apparently it's the best ranch ever. So, so excited to try it. This is what I'm wearing. Um, I picked up the linen trousers that I got tailored and they're now perfect. I'm wearing this little mesh three quarter length tie up thing. James calls it my little witch's cape, which I love. I'm loving the witch vibes. For the spiritual girlies, you know. I could even do a whole video on how I'm a witch and the girls that get it will get it. I'm going to balance the dark witchy vibes with the Sol de Janeiro Pistachio and Salted Caramel Body Spray. And this is really summery and sweet and just, honestly, if you haven't smelt it or tried it, I 100% recommend. Um, Amy mentioned this in the Menorca vlog. She bought this at the airport and for good reason. I'm nearly running out. Sol de Janeiro, please send me some. I'm pretty sure every vlog I've needed to do some sort of parcel admin. This is just part of my weekly routine now. So parcels first and then we go to wing stop. I've also just found out that I'm gonna have Jollibee one way or another tomorrow. So it's literally gonna be a great weekend for food and if you haven't tried Jolly Bee yet it's the best fried chicken the best flavor the best crunch and the gravy is amazing and anyone who says otherwise the girls that get it get it okay I went for the chocolate milkshake and it's so fucking good first impression I'm so happy with this do you like it now no. Here. Good. Swap? Yeah, I really love mine. James went for an Oreo milkshake. He doesn't like it, but I'm gonna try it. I like it. It's just super milky. Yeah, but you, I like do you it. Know what yours tastes like? 
It tastes like the ice cream we have at home. Mm -hmm. It's like a standard chocolate. It's good. <laughs> it's good? I really like this. I'm happy I went for the chocolate milkshake. So we're waiting outside to get our order. It's a bit ramo inside and I can't do my oh, McBang. Right. Hope you can see that. So you don't like it? Well, I went for Oreo. It doesn't taste like Oreo at all in any way, shape or form. <laughs> it doesn't. No, it actually no. doesn't. It doesn't taste like Oreo at all. It does. It tastes like if Lidl were to make a, a Neo version. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. What would you go for next? Next time? You go for this? Yeah, chocolate, chocolate. Or if like a banana. Look at that. Now I've got my drink in there. Oh my god, guys, it's here. I went for the Korean barbecue and the mango habanero, which is one of the spicy ones. The Korean barbecue. I don't know what flavour this is, but let's go for it. I don't know about this one. Yeah. This is the Korean barbecue. Initial review. Final thoughts. Oh. I would go back and I would try only the flavours with the sauce, get another chocolate milkshake, and I'll be happy. I wouldn't get any more of the dry ones. But you wouldn't go again? Never again. Probably. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I'd probably put it just above Jolly V, but <laughs> it's in the same category. Well, we have different standards because I love Jollibee, but yeah, no, Wingstop, I'm just a bit disappointed because I really hyped it up, but I would give it another chance. Barbecue, barbecue and the Korean barbecue one. Mm -hmm. Maybe those two flavours. Yeah, that's what I would do next time. Yeah. 16 years. Aw, thank you. And now we go home to chill, get into comfies and watch a film. Okay. Maybe we don't. <laughs> the James' car won't start. Hey guys, we are here at the Hertz room here with my friend Megan. And we're here for the June Duchess Golf Club um, golf day. So we're about to head in now and meet the other girls. I'm so excited, the weather's so nice. And so far the golf club looks really modern and looks really nice and high tech. So yeah, let's get the day started. I'm sorry, but the Hertzmere is so gorgeous. Hey besties, so we are finally on our way to the first tee. I'm with my playing partner, Caitlin. Hello. Um, but yeah, we're so excited. The day is so nice. And I've just met all the girls and they're all just like great vibes. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're a bit flustered right now we because are, aren't we? we've been rushing since the first tee, and you can kind of tell in our game. And another disaster has just happened because Megan and Michaela's buggy just their key snapped. So we need to just do. calm down. Deep breaths. Let's play some good golf. Yeah. We've got Mariah Carey playing. Right, so we are on hole seven now. Is it? Yeah. Already on hole seven. The day is going by quickly. It's going by quickly. Should I go down? Yeah, let's go yeah. to yours. But I just hit my best shot of the day so far. My it was using incredible. my hybrid and it went straight and kind of curved right, which is exactly where we want it to be. So spot yeah. on. Hey besties, let's do a Jollibee haul. My parents went to Jollibee today while I was at goal and I haven't eaten since before goal. So I'm so excited to dig into this. I don't know what's in here. So let's see what they got for me together. 
Starting off strong with the Coke. Yeah. <gasps> Stop. What, what? What the heck? Stop. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, is that two? <gasps> Can I have one? Of course, yeah, of course. Right, guys, firstly, look at this huge bag. All right, don't mind all the mess, but this huge bag. There's a whole bucket in there. Okay, right, let's start off strong with this huge bucket. They literally said, wow, you're so trim, and then do yeah, everything. I literally, came, you want for Christmas. I literally came from my parents, and my dad complimented me on how <laughs> trimmed I was. And I was like, oh, what, my new hair? Because I got it cut. And he was like, no. Well, and your hair too. I was like, right. But anyway, a whole bucket for four pieces of chicken. I am so excited to get some of that. Two gravy, two rice, and two spaghetti. Do you know what? I feel like I could eat this all. No. I definitely could eat this all. I'm gonna go in and enjoy. I think it'd be rude if I didn't have one. I agree. So we're gonna enjoy this. See you in the next clip. Hey besties, it's now Sunday, the day after my golf day for my golf business, the Duchess Golf Club, and it was so much fun. I absolutely loved playing the Hertzman. It was a stunning course, stunning clubhouse. All the girls that I met for the first time and also girls that I've met previously from my club. It was just so nice. The vibes were just great, really supportive of each other. My game was actually really good. I got, in terms of stroke, I got 61 on the front nine and 57 on the back nine I actually won second place for the stroke match play competition that I had going on so yeah great day playing golf it's now Sunday I'm just doing some admin so I've got some new wedges here you would have seen in this clip I already ordered wedges and I was so happy with them and I was happy with them I loved them but the only thing is they didn't fit so I ordered myself some new wedges off of Vinted these are new look ones and I think they're going to be more reliable than just fab that's the brand of the other wedges in the previous clips okay I wasn't recording when I unboxed it but this is what they look like it's giving ballerina so I'm excited to go home try these on make sure that they fit um because like I said I want some more kind of like everyday wear it to work kind of wedges so yeah I think these are really cute and perfect for that so yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog with a bit of golf, lots of food, getting a haircut, and just getting my life back together after my girl's holiday. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I will see you next Sunday.